Hey everyone, Overkill's back with another video, and today we're taking a look at my favorite Power Ranger, and another form of his in the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, which is the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger Tommy. You can see that I do have the Zeo Ranger Red here open to do a little bit of a head sculpt comparison later on in the video. I don't have my White Ranger here, I've not got around to opening him yet, but I wanted to go ahead and open this Green Ranger and check him out. I've been really excited about getting him in and seeing how good of a job he did with him compared to the Legacy Collection. Obviously the bonus for the Lightning Collection over the Legacy Collection will be the head sculpts that these guys got. So that's 100% plus in my book. With that being said, we'll go ahead and take a look at the package real quick. And you can see the front really good here. You can see the artwork of the Green Ranger with the Dragon Shield. It wraps around to the side. It's got a little Miami from Power Rangers logo here. The opposite side's got the artwork. Then on the back, we see the figure posed up. Once again, Amazon sent me a crushed package. I don't know how they get away with sending so many damaged products, but, you know, you just gotta take it and go on, I guess, if that's the game you're in. I've gotten to the point that I just expect Amazon to be subpar on their shipping. Now we'll go ahead and take them out of his cardboard slash plastic prison and take a look. Here he is in his clamshell. We can see what we saw from the front. Everything's there. Plus an energy effect for him, which is pretty cool. The Green Ranger himself is an improvement over the two-pack to some people because it was in his Dino Thunder special that showed off his past Ranger forms they made with silver on his helmet. And this one's more accurate to Mighty Morphin, so that's pretty cool. Onto the negative, what people are upset about is under his shield, there is no white diamond to match in with this other stuff. On front or back. So it really sticks out. But I guess they're taking it as the shields here. You're not going to really see it anyway. So I would just, you just have to take that as it is. And I don't know if his shield will come off when you change the heads or not. Now I do have my Legacy Collection downstairs on display. But I don't have it up here with me for the review. But if I looked at it correctly it doesn't have this diamond on it either. So it's not just Hasbro making this fault. And I could be wrong on it. And if I am, be sure to correct me in the comments below. We'll go ahead and take a look at the paint apps and the articulation on this. First with the helmet. Looks like he done a really good job. Nothing's out of place on the painting. The shield looks great. The golds on the arms. Everything looks good there. Even the greens. They match up pretty good for the most part. His morpher, a little crooked, nothing major. So, the rest of them looks pretty much the same. A little bit of wonkiness on the gold on the bottom. But, still a really great looking figure. With the articulation, with the helmet on and the shield, he can't look up. This is all I can do, and that's just me pushing, trying to put pressure on it. And then he can go down, fairly decent. And he does have full roll around and stuff, and I would say be careful because it may start causing rub on the dragon shield. So if you get one, definitely watch out for that. He does have butterfly joints. It's right into the white meets the green here. He does have the upper bicep cut, double jointed elbows. And really good movement on his hands, of course, because he does have interchangeable hands. The shield doesn't hinder his ab crunch as much. You can actually bend them back quite a bit. Forward. Pretty far. And then he doesn't have waist turn, but he does have it up here at the chest, which allows for wiggling. It's got some wicked, <laughs> that popping like, makes me think I'm breaking it. It makes me nervous. A lot of clicking on this figure. 
And then with the legs, you can't do a split. You can go down about that far. And it is on the little ball here. So you can go back. I mean, you can kind of make it go any direction you want up to a point. Just depends on how much you want to stress it. It does have the upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees. And he has ankle movement back that far, forward that far, and it actually can go wickedly to the side. And obviously everything is the same on the opposite side. So next we'll start looking at the hands and accessories. First up on the hands, we will see that he has the same hands on both sides. It's almost like a trigger hand. If I can get this to focus up, there we go. Like a trigger hand. So both of those are the same. For the left, he does have a fist. And then on the right, he has Next, we'll take a look at his head sculpt with the green headband and all. Looks really nice. Makes you think back to the really poor CGI green eyes to show that he was evil. But this is really nice in comparison to his Zeo head. If I can get it to focus good. To me, the Mighty Morphin green one does a lot better job of looking like Jason David Frank than the Zeal Redhead sculpt does. But, I mean, they're still both pretty nice, and it's great that we're getting these with the figures. This is the first time that they've really put this much work into having something different for the Power Rangers. And, if you wanted to, you could use the other heads. You know, you could use the Zeal one on the Green Ranger. And you could use the Green, I guess, if you wanted to on the Zeal Red, too, just depending so it's good that they're interchangeable. I really dig that aspect of it. Then we have this really cool energy effect. And I'm assuming from the looks of it, it goes on the Sword of Darkness. And mine has a really wicked curve to it from being in the package. And the Sword of Darkness is detailed really well. The red and blacks and stuff on it look nice. The white handle, not so much. It looks kind of plain. This side looks a little bit better. This side, I don't know, like the grooves got filled in a little bit too much or something. But the blade itself, you can see, looks really nice. And I would say this just slides on it through the grooves. Without looking at the package, I'm just going to take a stab at it. I guess it goes similar to that to make it look like He's doing an energy attack, and I probably won't really pose him with the Sword of Darkness too much, but if I were to, it's nice to have that effect. And then lastly, it's his trademark Dragon Dagger, and hopefully my camera's showing this good to you, but it looks really good for the tiny details. It's painted nice with the Dragon Zord symbol. The only flaw that I can see is the green on it is such a drastically different green and it's almost duller green to be to be more precise it's just like it don't I mean, but it's still nice i mean really cool i've seen better detailed ones for figures but this one's still pretty cool it's it's still pretty nice and it favors one of the toys that my daughter has of it actually so yeah the dragon dagger you cannot have the green ranger without it and we'll put that in his pouch for when he's ready to fight and just something about the green ranger always looked you know especially in the sentai footage he always looked like you didn't really know if he was going to be a good guy or not anyway he just he gives those evil vibes just the, just his appearance so let's see what he looks like in costume with his civilian head and then we'll actually see how this shield's on there like if we were to raise his arms up i don't want to break it obviously but i think if you were to stretch it you can tell it would come off if you wanted to use it myself i'm not going to but at least we got the proof that you could i just don't want to risk tearing my 
new figure up. But we'll put the other head on the peg. And there we have it. With all of his accessories, a really nice looking figure. It's going to be great for the collection. And it's going to be great to eventually have all the Tommies together. I did it with the Legacy Collection. I managed to get Green White, Zeo Red, and Dino Thunder. I can't remember if they made a Red Turbo. If they did, I don't even remember if I have it. But we're there, and I'm wanting them to make a Dino Thunder next. That's the one I'm hoping for Tommy. Because I think that if they made Turbo, it may end up having a TJ head. But if it doesn't, and maybe they might give us two heads for it, we do not know this yet. But we could always use one of the other head sculpts and put onto the turbo and have the whole Tommy theme there. But yeah, that's it. This was the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I bid you all farewell.